Welcome guys, I'm Gio here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we're gonna talk about some angular pipes. Uh, once you get uh, familiar with angular and uh, start using it and uh, maybe you know uh, watch some courses or go through some tutorials, eventually you're gonna come across the pipes. Essentially pipes represent the simple functions that we can use inside our templates. Let's look at the examples now. Uh, I have created some uh, example app here. Uh, I have generated it from CLI. It uh, has only a single component. It is app component. Uh, it has only one property. It is called title. And uh, in the template, we are just printing out the title. So right now, uh, we're going to try to use some pipe. So here again, we have another paragraph and uh, we are trying to output the title, but in this case, we're using the uppercase pipe. And as you see, the string is displayed as uppercase. Uh, this is a pipe that uh, ships with Angular. There are uh, other pipes as well inside the Angular. I'm not gonna go through them. Uh, the good thing about the pipes in Angular is that we can have our own pipes. Uh, I have already created some pipes here and uh, let's take a close look at these pipes. Here we have this uh, custom pipe that I also generated with Angular CLI. Uh, it is a very simple and uh, in its basic form uh, pipe uh, is a class that implements the pipe transform interface and uh, we have the transform function here and uh, our transformation logic should go inside this function. Here we have the value and uh, in this case we just simply split it to receive the array and then join them together with the spaces and uh, we receive the string with spaces uh, between the characters and um, it's very simple but good for a demonstration so let's um, you know, code another paragraph here now let's look at the output and you know as we've expected there is uh, our string and it has you know spaces between characters it's uh, very simple and uh, you know this is uh, our pipe and that's how it looks so you know from my experience once you get familiar with pipes and you start using it you realize that this can be a very handy in different times uh, not only uh, we can use pipes when just using the we want to you know output some values here we can also use them inside ngif or for expressions and uh, this can be very handy so eventually you're going to come across the situations where you have some logic here inside the transform function uh, that is not necessarily asynchronous uh, so what i'm talking about let's look at another example right now i have also created another pipe it's called add dashes it's very similar to that but here right now we're simulating the case where inside the transform function we have some logic that you know takes some time to execute. In this case we have this API service uh, and we have add dashes method here and we are just uh, returning whatever this method returns inside our add dashes pipe. So let's look at this method. Uh, it's very simple. I'm trying to simulate some long running uh, operation maybe some complex computation that takes some time or maybe some call to a server or some third-party service it doesn't matter the idea is that inside the, our pipe we have a, a transform and in this transform function we have some operation that takes some time and uh, either returns a promise or returns some observable now in this example i just use some timeout and uh, I just resolve it by splitting the string again and then joining them together with uh, this dash. So, uh, and in, in this and in this case, this pipe is kind of proxy. It calls this method, uh, and uh, it takes a long time. So let's try to use this, you know, add dashes pipe here, and uh, let's observe the result. Now, before I show you the page and the actual result, I want to, you to pause this video and think carefully uh, about the result and what this might be. It looks like there's something going on. So we received object promise. What is this? 
Well, let's examine closely what really happens when we are using the pipes. So we have this value here. Uh, it is a variable in this case, it's called title, and inside we have the string. So once we start using this syntax, this pipe syntax here, uh, Angular takes this value and passes into our pipe. And in uh, uh, this case, pipe is add dashes, uh, and it is this pipe. Now we come into the transform function, and Angular tries to execute this, you know, and in this uh, transform, uh, we are calling our API, we are using our API service, we are calling the add dashes method, and add dashes method, as you see, immediately returns the promise. So value that is returned after our transformation is the promise not the eventual result that will be resolved by using our promise, but the promise itself. So as the value comes in here and goes through our pipe, the result of this is a promise. And you know it's no surprise that it is displaying it that way. So uh, we, we you know it is indicating that we have a promise here. But this is not uh, the result we are looking for we actually want to display the result of our, um, our you know, computation. But how can we do that? You know, is it possible? Well, there's a trick here that I want to share with you. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, we can actually chain multiple pipes together. So we can add another line here and then use async. Now let's uh, save this and look at the result. Now let's uh, look at our code again and think about what is really going on. So this is the async pipe. This is, this is one of the pipes that comes with Angular. And the async pipe uh, receives the promise or observable and listens to it. And it's doing some magic behind the scenes. And whenever the value from promise or observable will, will be resolved, it will output its uh, uh, result, you know, its final result. So in this case, we have the title. The title goes through this add dashes uh, pipe, and this pipe returns some promise. And then this promise that is returned with this method here, uh, it is going through the async pipe and async pipe is smart. It looks at this and says, okay, you know, I have a promise. It says, okay, you know, this is a promise. I have to wait for that. And whatever the result from this promise will be, I am going to output this. And uh, this is a very useful pipe and uh, you're going to be using it a lot, uh, especially with observables. So, that's why in this case we have achieved our desired result. Now, this is this is a trick that I wanted to show you, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of times people don't use it, and uh, they kind of ignore this and uh, the pipes altogether. But uh, you know, the point is that this can be very useful, uh, especially in different scenarios where in our pipes we want to have you know some complex calculations. So I want you to warn about using this, even though it's uh, achieving a desired result here, uh, we are receiving the value and final result. Uh, you want to be cautious with using the async pipes and uh, the, the async logic inside the transform, because uh, sometimes these pipes can be called you know, uh, really frequently and you don't want to invoke the async operation very often because probably it will affect your performance. So in this case, uh, you have to implement some caching mechanism here so you don't compute some uh, results over and over again. And chaining with the, uh, you know, this caching with uh, within the pipes and async pipe here will uh, yield really uh, good results and uh, this can be really, really handy and it, it adds expressiveness to your templates. Now, I want to show you another fun example here. And uh, in this example, I have created, you know, some uh, fun pipe here, it's called the nums. And in this pipe, we are going to pass in the interval, time interval here, and we're just going to use it uh, here. And now let's look at the result. Oh, sorry, I forgot the async pipe here. 
<laughs> it's not gonna work because it actually returns observable and as you see we have some kind of a timer here and it is increasing the you know this number uh, by one uh, with one uh, second interval so what's going on here right now we are having we are using this timer and uh, it is generating a new uh, observable and inside our nums pipe we are just returning this so uh, in this case you know async pipe is smart enough to uh, detect that this is observable and it has to listen the changes uh, multiple changes and reflect this inside the template so that was the trick for today if you have you know some pipe some custom pipe that maybe you want to uh, really use inside the template and you have some async logic inside the uh, transform function then uh, there's no problem you can use it but you have to use the it with async pipe that ships with angular hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video click the like button subscribe and share it with your friends